as part of ongoing research by the National Monument Service and the Office of Public Works at the Bruna Boigne UNESCO World Heritage Property. Archaeoastronomer Dr. Frank Prendergast was commissioned to produce a new customized landscape model showing the sky from Newgrange. This model can be installed in Stellarium, a free software program that allows anyone to use their home computer as a virtual planetarium. Once the model is installed, users can visit the Boyne Valley virtually and recreate the sky above the Great Mound of Newgrange at any time, day or night, on any date of interest, be it 2021 AD or 2021 BC. Newgrange is the premier crew of monuments on the island and is so internationally renowned. The passage and the burial chamber are very accurately aligned to the limits of where the sun would have risen at the winter solstice. Solstice means reversal, standstill and reversal. And from one year to the next, the sun travels down the horizon from June at the northern summer solstice, all the way down, almost through a quarter of a circle, slowing down as it approaches the solstice position in late December, stops for a couple of period, uh, you know, a few days, and then starts to reverse again. So this is the annual cycle, which prehistoric people and farmers would have observed and would have incorporated into their ceremonial practices and ritual and belief systems. And the sun's position at sunrise especially at the solstices, has changed a little. And therefore, the illumination of the chamber within would have been more profound and dramatic and probably reached the end of the end burial recess. So that little change in the astronomy is enough to make a difference in terms of what happened then compared to now. So a team was very quickly put together involving National Monument Service, Office of Public Works, and myself as a, an, an expert. And my field of interest would be uh, cultural astronomy, which in essence is astronomy and prehistoric cultures. What we've done is to successfully photograph the horizon around Newgrange, and then capture the panoramic horizon around the cairn. And once people download Stellarium onto their computer, and successfully install it and the process isn't difficult and it's free. They have the ability now to be at Newgrange situated on the summit of the cairn itself. To see the landscape, all of the archaeology, all of the topography and the horizon and then examine the sky through the year, season by season, day by day, minute by minute. And we can also do it millennium by millennium. So the power of this program is amazing because you can reverse the clock and take the viewer back in time to any time of year. We can change the clock to 3200 BC, the time the monument was built. We can advance the astronomy of the model to the point where it is replicating or simulating the winter solstice sunrise then. And conveniently there's a couple of distinctive trees on the horizon against which we can use those as a marker. And what this model will tell us is that compared to now, due to the change in the tilt of the Earth's axis, the sun would have risen about the width of two solar disks or diameters to the right of its present position. And the accuracy of Stellarium is such that it will recreate the positions of stars and planets as they were 5,000 years ago. We can play the movement of the heavens any time, day, month, year, and through the year, through the seasons, relative to the horizon, and view these things as they would have been observed and witnessed. And in that way, we could better promote and convey the meaning of the landscape at Newgrange and the people who lived in it at that time. It is a learning tool, it's an educational tool, and it's a tool of enjoyment. And hopefully something like this will bring students, school kids, parents, into the arena of observing what goes on at Newgrange using a free software. We have now the ability to switch on, sit back, relax, 
and just imagine what it was like in the Neolithic with the sky at that time.